Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. How's everyone doing out there in YouTube land? So, if you remember, we bought the Blue Avalanche last year and we put a motor in it and I gave that to my grandparents to drive. It's a Z71. Um, I paid up on my Avalanche pretty good to get it. Um, they're kind of expensive. They don't really rust out down here either, so didn't have to worry about that. And then as soon as I get mine done and ready to rock and roll, Dad just finds this one for sale on the side of the road and gave a whopping like 500 bucks for this thing with a title. And it freaking runs. The transmission wouldn't pull. And so we took and changed the filter and the fluid and it came back to life. He drove it for about a month or two. And uh, of course, you know, it's on borrowed time already being a 4L60. So it started slipping again, but you know, he got some time out of it. And then the other day, this dude headed to the scrapyard comes by and wants to know if I want this 4L60 trans. Um, he said that it was in his truck and the motor died in it. The truck wasn't worth fixing. So he was parting it out and the rest of it was going to the scrapyard. And uh, he said, I see you always got a bunch of cars out here that you're working on. And I didn't know if you could use it because I sure hate the junk it. It was a good one and it was still pulling in my truck. And I'm like, ah, I don't know, you know, because buying used 4L60s is not a good idea. And uh, finally, I was like, what do you think they're going to give you scrap for? And he's like, I don't know. It's, you know, it's aluminum casing, so it'll be dirty aluminum. And I was like, I tell you what, I had this Honda Accord engine sitting over here in the floor that was no good, completely blown, little F23. And, uh, wasn't worth rebuilding or saving had a crap ton of miles on it and i said i will trade you my honda accord motor because it's all aluminum for this transmission and i bet the accord motor weighs more than this transmission and he was like deal so i traded him and now i have zero dollars in this 4l60 and i'm going to take his word for it this truck is a z66 which means it has the sport e or -er suspension package on it but no four-wheel drive it is a two-wheel peel and that's a two-wheel peel transmission so these are super easy to change out so we're going to throw this thing on the rack we're going to swap this trans out real quick uh we're just going to throw a filter kit in that one i'm going to flush the torque converter out on this one and use it in that one and we're going to see if homeboy was right if that is a good 4l60 and then we will have Besides a filter kit, maybe a couple quarts of new fluid, we won't have shit in this thing. I had to put a new battery in it. So. Oh, yeah, he did have to buy a battery to get it home. The battery was shot. So, you know, you got like 70, 80 bucks in a battery. But besides that, it's good to go. So, let's get this thing swapped out, see what happens. All right, so the transmission is our, well, there's our new one. The old one's on the floor over here. And as you can see, we've got her out. This thing's pretty clean on the back. So it's got guide pins in it. We're gonna hit those with a wire brush, make them clean. A little bit of uh, the uh, fluid film up in there. And then we'll be ready to stab the new used transmission in there and see if this gamble plays off or not. Transmission is in. Just got the cross member done. Got the drive shaft put back in. Exhaust bolts tight. Dad's struggling with a heat shielder or a skid plate up here. Cause he's old. <laughs> so there we go. It is in. We're gonna set it on the ground, put the fluid in there, and see what happens. All right, folks, y'all are coming with us for the first drive. If I can get it out of here without backing it into the dirty Dodge. So the trash control light is on because I've got it off. We topped it off with fluid on the lift and to get these to shift through all the gears with the wheels off the ground, you have to turn the trash control off. Here we go. Second gear. Third gear. Wind noise. 
think that was fourth. It definitely got some wind noise. I don't know what to do about the wind noise. So just deal with it. But hey, it's shifting. I'm gonna call this a success. Free 4L60 from the junk man. And he insisted that we take it. He's like, I do not want to throw this thing away. That's a good transmission. The motor was bad in the truck. And I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't trust you use 4L60s. But uh, I'll be damned. So we didn't even have to pay for a transmission. I gave him that cord motor that was junk, which that was a it was it wasn't even a cord. The place we got a new motor from didn't even want the old one, so it was just a freebie. So other than the fluid that we purchased, we don't have any money in this. You cannot beat that. Oh yeah. Check her out. <laughs> Free 4L and overdrive. Free 4L60. <laughs> and a $500 avalanche. Ooh, buddy. I can't believe that. We'll check the fluid in it again. Gotta adjust the shifter. So, but how about that? Well, it worked. Five hundred dollar Avalanche. Got a junkyard four L, or not even a junkyard, but a, <laughs> a four L sixty from the Scrap Man. This thing's got a backup camera on it. Sunroof. Now it's 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 a little dingy. It's dirty. It hasn't been washed or nothing yet. Um, literally just swapped the transmission fluid that one time and then drove it about two months and then it started acting up again and we had it just sitting up here on the hill we were going to get a built 4L60 from a company over in Asheville called Full Sim Performance Transmissions you've seen us install some of their stuff before they do really good work so we we're going to put one of those transmissions in it and like I said then homeboy scrap man came by the other day and man I really hate to let that thing go to the scrap yard it's a good transmission man I know somebody could use it so I'll be dang he wasn't kidding it was a good 4L60 <laughs> alright well that'll wrap up this one we'll get some it's still a little bit low on ATF so we'll grab some more tomorrow top it off and and I guess we'll just drive it so thank you all for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. We'll do another video on this avalanche here soon. Uh, if everything works out with the trans and it continues to shift and all that good stuff, well, I think Dad's going to go have it painted. So Because it needs it needs paint. Paint's fading on it pretty bad. we got to find a hood. The hood's got a dent right in the middle. Looks like it flew up, but the cab's fine. So Tree fell across it, Dad says. So that's... That's it. That's it. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one.